it's your girl, Ebony Satora. I'm the founder here behind Queens Recognize Queens. I'm a holistic mindset coach for women, helping women to find personal power and inner peace through meditation, mindfulness, and inner child healing. Healing in general. So I wanted to speak with you guys today, A, because I'm just so excited about what 2020 has to hold. I have so many different things happening in my personal life, professional life, uh, that it's just really exciting. Like I'm really excited and I'm excited to share with you guys um, something that I wanted to talk about when it comes to uh, setting goals, right? We're still in the beginning of the year and um, you know, I hope that people really see you don't have to wait for the new year to set goals. Like you guys should be setting goals every three months. Uh, if you are in business, you know, people typically set goals in three month increments because at the end of the day, hopefully you guys won't see a boop, at the end of the day, it's based on execution. Uh, you know, it's based on execution. And just for myself being in business, one of the main core things I wanted to share with you guys today in setting goals is to first let you know, like, you're not a failure, okay? Like, if we can just wrap our minds around the fact that life is about failing forward, right? You're going to try different business ideas. You're going to do different things in your life, right? You're not meant to stay in one position. And a lot of times we're so afraid of failure that we don't try or we failed and it's like taking a blow on our confidence of just like trusting in ourselves. And you know, you got to dust that off. You got to get back up. You got to get back motivated. You got to really see like, what did you learn? Even if you came out stronger on the other side, right? Even if you came out saying, damn like I'm proud of myself that I actually tried uh, opposed to not trying that's the difference between winners and people who just want to win but they're watching on the sidelines I don't want to say losers because I don't want to say that people who don't try are losers because right life is life and if you choose not to pursue the things that are in your heart then you're the person that has to live with that i don't think that makes you a loser you know but at the end of the day you're the person that has to live with that so i want to tell you first and foremost like i said you are not a loser but let's just break down how do we really hit our goals right and like i said you want to break it down into increments and one of the things that i always tell people that i work with my clients is that Sometimes, you know, the easiest way to put it is sometimes you have to lower the bar, right? If you don't work out, it's not realistic to, you know, we pack on all these different things. We're like, I'm going to eat healthy. I'm going to work out. Like, you have a whole year. If you want to look at it from a year perspective, right, and let's get into the three-month increments, you could say, because that's easy, that's doable, right? You could say, well, let me... Backtrack, let me slow down. Where do we start, right? So first, let's start with the small goal of, all right, let me do some research and let me find some recipes and some in a diet that would be interested in me. Because I don't know about you guys, but there's just like protein bars that I'm not eating them protein bars to be healthy because they don't taste good, right? And there is a way to eat healthy and a lot of us are you know, stray away from a healthier diet simply because some of the stuff on the market is just nasty, let's be real right um right and going back to fail and having tried some of us we've tried i've tried so many different things but i'm not going to give up because i have goals and i have things that i want to reach and i want to feel well right so each of us you know diet really comes down to also you know you got to find you know a diet that works for your body because everybody's different but anyway so going back to our goals right let's just speak on health so we're going to say let's research some recipes right? That's a simple thing. You don't need three months to do that, right? Be realistic. Um, you know, maybe the next thing is, all right, you know, you, you said you want to eat healthy, you want to exercise, and you want to tone and tighten your stomach and your butt. So then you say, okay, I don't drink enough water every day. Let me start with challenging myself and saying, I'm going to go from, instead of zero water, so I'm going to go to the gallon of recommended water and then, you know, be peeing all day and irritated and then give up within two weeks, a week, a day of doing it. You know, I'm going to say, I'm going to drink one bottle of water a day. 
right? I don't work out. So let me say I'm going to, uh, you know, do some physical activity. It could be yoga. It could be stretching. It could be, you know, going for a quick power walk, right? Most of us are like, I got to go to the gym. I want to go to the gym. And then we fail because we go to the gym for two weeks and then we stop going, especially for those of you that are like, I need an accountability partner, someone to go with me. God forbid they're not available, right? And they're not there to go with you, right? Now your plan is out the window, right? And if we want to be successful, right? And if we want to even see a change that we, you know, we can make that mental note within our body and within our mind to say, oh, remember when we were consistent and we were going to the gym, we were working out 10 minutes a day, that felt really good. Let's try it again, right? This, this message is all about trying again, mm-hmm. as well as well as setting smaller goals and lowering the bar for ourselves because we get so ambitious and motivated especially in the beginning of the year that we forget that the way that the mind works is with repetition and sometimes you know those ambitious goals aren't really tricking our mind into why we need to be sold into doing that right why 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 do i gotta eat healthy like i still really like cake that's what your mind is telling you and then you're trying to figure out you know why you can't stop eating cake right? It's like the words you're using, the things you're doing, and you haven't tricked your mind. Your mind doesn't even have any memory of any other time you've done something and it felt good. You're like, oh, we did try to diet. And remember we eating them protein bars? They were nasty. Like, let's not try to do that again, right? And then you wonder why you're procrastinating. So this stuff is just really full circle. And I'm telling you, this is the simplest way to hit that goal because um, you deserve it. Like, beyond everything else, you deserve to feel good. You deserve to have money in the bank. You deserve to be successful. And studies show that if you just increase your productivity in any area of your life by 10%, that's enough to move mountains, folks. Okay, so I just want you to be motivated and stay motivated throughout the year by setting small incremental goals so you're not shortchanging yourself, so you're not settling, and so you are accomplishing some things. You know, if you worked your abs out for 10 minutes a day, five minutes a day for the next 365 days, I guarantee you, you're going to see results, period, right? We don't think we will because we're like, oh, well, that's so small. And don't they recommend working out for one hour? But if you ain't doing nothing, you're just sitting around thinking about what they say, but you're not doing anything, right? 10%, 1%, any movement in the right direction from 1% on, you're going to see results, right? And it's just like training anything else. We do what feels good. So if it feels good and you're like, dang, girl, your stomach did go down a little bit. Ow. Ow. A little flat, flat. A little fat, little flat, fat and a fat, fat, right? Because of my little five minutes, my little ten minutes, right? Then you're going to be like, oh, snap. What am I going to do next? Let me increase the bar. I'm going to start working out for 25 minutes, Right? You have to start really small. Let me put on my shoes. Let me just step outside, right? It's just the small decisions will lead you to those bigger decisions, those bigger goals until they become habits and lifestyles. And I am living proof, especially when it comes to meditation, especially when it comes to calming our mind. You have to remember you're gonna have to feel forward that's part of the process you're gonna have to feel frustrated you're gonna have to feel irritated with yourself you're gonna have to feel irritated with the process of life you're gonna have to go through all the motions to see like this is really worth it i am worth it i am worth it i am in control i am responsible and i'm going to do everything in my power to make this possible even if that means setting the bar lower so that I can start seeing some results so that I can start being proud of myself for you know those five minutes that I was consistent in doing for the past six weeks eight weeks start small let me know how this works for you let me know how this works for you I want you guys to make sure you hit that subscribe button because that lets me know that you love the content also leave a comment and let me know if this tip was helpful for you And, you know, what are you going to commit to for the rest of 2020 and beyond? What are you going to commit to? Because like I said, you deserve it. You deserve it. And then make sure you also follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Queens Recognize Queens. Levi over here is like kicking the table like, hey, bro, you want to say hi to everyone before we log off of here? (laughs) <laughs> say hey lady subscribe to my mommy's channel 
because she got all the sauce, right? All right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for following my journey. Also, share this video. Don't be stingy. Sharing is caring. And there's somebody out there that can use this information just as much as you. Thank you guys for joining me. Bye.